G'day! In this video, you're going to learn about my favorite screenshot tool for Windows. Uh, I've been using this pretty regularly for the last several months. I'm so glad I found it because it saves me a lot of time. Uh, when I'm helping people out with our product, uh, Content Snare, I often need to take screenshots and put arrows and text and annotate things uh, you know, to show our clients how something needs to be used or to guide them through a process. Um, and when you're doing that a lot, you know, if you need screenshots and annotations regularly, uh, it's going to save you a lot of time. So let's go ahead and dig into it. It's called ShareX uh, and it's free, which is awesome. And you can just go to getsharex.com and download it here. Once you've done that, it looks a little bit like this. So these are a couple of my previous screenshots. Now, it really depends how you want to use this because there are so many different uh, use cases for this. So you can hook it up to different services to actually upload every image that you screenshot. I don't need this feature, um, so I'm just going to show you around some of the basic capture tools and why I think it's so handy. There's all kinds of tools and stuff in here uh, for the uh, power user, if that's you. But I'm just going to keep this really simple for this video just to show you how you can create screenshots uh, and annotate them really quickly. So. I have made only a couple of small changes to my settings and that's in the after capture task. So what this is saying is after you trigger a screen capture by pressing, you know, print screen, uh, this is what should happen. And I've told it to open in the image editor, which is where you can create annotations and that kind of thing, and to copy the image to a clipboard because I often don't care about saving the image anywhere. So you can actually have it automatically save uh, once you're done, but you'll actually see uh, what I really like is that the image editor allows you to save anyway. So in the circumstances where I do need to save, I just click a button. So these are the two that I like to use, open editor and uh, copy image to clipboard. So I'm gonna close this and it's just running in the background with Windows all the time. So let's say I wanted to create a quick tutorial on how someone should log in. Let's keep this pretty basic. Um, I'm gonna press control print screen my favorite shortcut because what it does, it puts it into this mode where you can actually choose what you want to take a screenshot of. So uh, you can see there where the border is actually on the window itself. So I'm not actually getting Chrome with all its tabs and the extensions open. You can also draw a box around just one part of the screen if you want to only capture that little bit. So I probably want to select it there. Uh, and then you get this uh, editing panel here. This is where you can save, like I said before, if I do want to save this image. Um, but let's just say I want to put a couple of arrows in and say first, fill out your email address. I just press A to get an arrow because there's a shortcut for it up there, you'll see. Press A again. Uh, let's go one, two, three. And you can see text outline is O. So I'm just going to go one, two, three. You know, obviously I can type all kinds of stuff in here. There's, you know, I can draw freehand as well if I need to, draw shapes and crop. You know, you've got all the standard tools here that you'd expect on uh, an annotation tool. Uh, and then all I do is hit enter and that's copied into my clipboard ready to put into a tool like a chat. You know, for example, if I'm uh, writing back to a customer to say, this is how you do it, I'm gonna paste that into an email or a, like intercom. So I've just got uh, paint.net open here. I can paste that directly and it's got all my, all my annotations on it. So that's why I like this. Let, let's just have a quick look at that again to show you how quick this workflow is, right? Control print screen, click, A for arrow, O for text, uh, enter to save it and it's ready for pasting. So when you are doing this a lot, that can save you a ton of time. I'll just quickly also show you how it works if you've got multiple windows open. Again, that control print screen, you can see you can select uh, like the entire application there, just the window, which is really handy if you only want to catch certain bits. Uh, and you can actually just click and drag at the same time. So if I only want that little bit, um, it opens in the image editor. And just like before, you can save it or just hit enter and that is screenshotted, ready to go uh, if I need to paste that somewhere. 
All right, I hope you like ShareX as much as I do. It's one of those tools that saves me so much time, even though it's so basic and free. So uh, pretty much nothing to lose there. So go ahead uh, and go to getsharex.com and grab that tool. That's it for this video. If you would like to learn more tech tips about becoming more productive and how to automate parts of your life and business, please hit that red subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video.